Hi, this is Kim from Camp Bear to Live Without It, and I realized that I haven't done a vinyl update in a year now, so I thought that I'd show you uh, the newest vinyl that I've collected in the last year, and I figured I'd throw in a bonus, being that it's been a while, and show you uh, my vintage Michael Jackson record player, which a lot of my vinyl I do keep sealed for now. Um, obviously it's because I do not want to play it on this. Uh, I have another turntable I can use, but I just haven't, uh, wanted to open some of these as of now. And this even comes with the old eighties microphone. So let's get into the vinyl, um, thing about me is I'm a very loyal person so once I like an artist even as maybe obscure as they may be or indie perhaps I will try to collect everything that I can and uh, in the previous videos I showed you a couple of Derek Webb's albums and these were a few that I needed to fill in the gaps so this was actually given to me and I really appreciated that. Uh, he's currently um, about to release a new record called Target soon. And every two weeks he has been going live and doing the full album versions for everyone um, to purchase a ticket for $20. And you get to see him play from your own home his records. Uh, so you can find him at DerekWebb.com if you're interested. He's a really good artist. Has a very good message and this is the other one that i was able to get it was his newest release called fingers crossed up until the point of uh targets about to come out soon so i bought this record and was given the ringing bell for free which was awesome because that was the only other one i needed um, now you guys know if you've been watching the other vinyls that I'm a huge uh, Janet Jackson fan in particular, but I do support the entire family when I can because I mean come on They're the greatest family to do it in music So this is going places and it's a sealed copy that I found on clearance So I picked that up Now you may know that I already have had this in my collection, but this was the limited edition color vinyl that got re-released on red vinyl. And um, they are not in my collection as of right now because I had all the originals. But she currently just re-released her almost entire catalog on variant vinyl colors. Uh, velvet ropes on red and so on and so forth. So I'm going to have to add extra copies to those. And, okay, these, whew, I was in a Barnes & Noble, and my nephew happened to be going through the racks of vinyl, which I wasn't looking for any to add, because I felt like I had enough. And he came across these, and when I looked it up, I hadn't realized that there was a special edition box that had come out um, in celebration of his birthday, so... Of course, I freaked out that I had missed out on something, and I wound up getting the picture disc that I also love and collect that I was missing. So here's Off the Wall, and this was a very hard one to come by. I only had had, at this point, the limited edition 3D pop-up CD version, which I'll get to in the other versions of my collection videos I intend to do on this channel. So if you're in it for the long haul to see what I have, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and encourage me to keep going because it's very hard in life to find the time to do YouTube on the side. So. And then we have Scream and this is a uh, glow-in-the-dark 2LP vinyl which um, I also had realized I missed and decided 
being that I love horror as well, and this is their version of Michael Jackson's songs that are in the vein of being in that genre, I decided to pick that up as well, which, spoilers, they do give you a tease in the packaging of what you're getting. And um, I had to get history. Um, obviously, Scream is on this with Janet, and this is a 2LP, you know, back and front picture disc. I'm not going to take it out of the, you know, the sleeves right now, being that I'm holding my phone that I'm doing this on. I'm not even doing this on my professional camera at the moment, you know, just to get this done. And I'll probably edit on my phone as well, but just wanted to give you guys an update video on what I picked up this year and this was his last album before he passed away and this as far as aesthetics is my favorite because each vinyl has the different colors of the cds that had come out and unfortunately at that time in my life i was very stupid meaning i was in love <laughs> and not only did i not go to his signing at virgin megastore which I had already met him in 95, so I'm I'm going to excuse myself from not wanting to stay outside godling long, you know, for how long that people were out there for. But I stupidly didn't pick up any of the CDs at that time, and now they go for a little bit. So that is a little bit of a hole in my collection. So at least I have the vinyl now. Um, this new edition record I happened to pick up at, uh, I found in the Salvation Army for a dollar so as much as i'm into urban music i mean new edition is a great addition to the collection so a little bit of love yeah i mean look at bobby they're so young for 99 cents yeah that's definitely getting at it now these were re-released after Prince's death. These are the first ever editions. I know, I know people, Prince fans are screaming through the phone right now, but these are the first ones I had added. Obviously, uh, you see my lean was more towards MJ. Not to say that Prince uh, is not a genius. He is. It's just, yep, I kind of leaned pun intended, towards uh, the other side of the spectrum. And I decided I found these at a discount rate. And there was even a boo-boo. So here's Into. And yeah, look at that. Wow. Uh, second copy. I actually have two of these sealed. So I can uh, afford to either trade or sell this one because there was a mishap with the shipping and they sent me two of the wrong of the same one instead of this one which i had to fix that which the company was nice enough to do uh, i guess someone packaging realized that there's not much of a difference the only difference is if you look he's looking away and onto so these are on purple vinyl and had to get them you know a deal purple one of my favorite colors prince is a genius so i figured what way to start the collection on vinyl with prince would be you know to get these and we'll see where we go from there so that's it but uh as a bonus oh no that isn't it i forgot one more look at that a picture disc i found this on clearance as well uh this is i know people have an issue with the movie not being the best i didn't hate it uh, a bonus for me was that I know someone that was in one of the scenes in the movie. Shout out to Casey Miracle. Uh, he was in the scene uh, with the lobster tank. When Eddie Brock climbs in, he's uh, featured predominantly in the scene. So it was another pull for me to want this. Although I am a big Spider-Man fan of most of the the films <laughs> uh yeah i'm not going to talk about homecoming uh not at all but i actually preferred venom to homecoming uh, but i thought this was a gorgeous uh you know picture disc to have and i do collect a lot of the spider-man funko pops or anyway used to and when i get into my funko collection you guys are probably gonna be floored there'll probably have to be tons of videos on those because 
I have over 1300 Funko products. Yikes. So that was the last one for the year's pickups. And the bonus is that, uh, as you see, Hulk Hogan isn't, you know, he, well, there is songs, so I, I can't even say that, but this is a 80s retro vintage toy chest. And I actually were putting the vinyl in here. Now, obviously I have way more that fit in here, but uh, this is one of the places that I currently store the vinyl. So just figured I'd add that in as well as a little bonus treat. So um, thanks for tuning in again. Hopefully I can get more of these videos out. Uh, I think the main issue is organization. And because I have so many collections and so many things, I try to get them all in one section before I film. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I appreciate you guys tuning in and hopefully there's more to come. So have a good one.